Hey YouTubers, you know the line, yours truly, back again to post another quick video. I uh, actually got this request earlier today and it kind of coincided with what I thought my next video might be, so it uh, kind of worked out well. I'm going to show uh, some of my R&B stuff this time. Uh, digging more into the 60s and 70s R&B. Uh, I'll save the 80s R&B for a little bit later and 90s R&B for a little bit later video or whatever, so just a few pieces. Um, a lot, of, of course, a lot of the artists I have multiple albums, but I'm just going to pull out one and kind of, you know, acknowledge that artist and kind of go from there. So, uh, let's start here with Stevie Wonder, Songs in the Key of Life, which is really kind of a triumphant album for him, although he had very, a, a lot of them, I should say, uh, kind of an understatement, but I have a number of his albums here, as well as... I have a number of pieces with Bill Withers. This is his greatest hits. And of course, he's very well known for Lean On Me. But uh, my favorite song by him is Ain't No Sunshine. I mean, that's just two minutes of some very smooth R&B there. Uh, then we'll skip over to the Jackie Wilson story. Obviously, you remember the genius that this guy had. That's a very good LP. Then we will skip over to Barry White, and of course I have a number of his things as well, but Barry's kind of the epitome, epitome I should say, of some of that 70s, early 80s R&B. This is a very good album. If you haven't heard it yet, make sure you check it out. The World is a Ghetto by War. I have a couple more War pieces in here. We'll skip over to Junior Walker and the All-Stars. It's a live album. I think I've shown this in a video before. Then uh, I have a number of pieces with Ike and Tina Turner. This is their greatest hits, which has a this has a Fool in Love on it. A couple other really good songs out there, or on there, I should say. So I have a lot of Tina, um, a lot of this next group too, which is Diana Ross and the Supremes. So between uh, Diana Ross's Supremes and all of Diana Ross's solo albums, it's easy to get a ton of her stuff. Even though there's certain things I don't like about her, dealing more with her attitude towards her bandmates and everything back in the day, but that's a whole other video. Then we have The Spinners, Pick of the Litter, another very good album. And this is an artist I have a number of. I'm going to show two, actually, because I think he deserves the props for it. Sly and the Family Stone, Greatest Hits. I've shown this in a video before. One of the best punk albums, I think, ever. And then we have more Sly and the Family Stone there. It's another really good album. And we will skip over to Best of Percy Sledge. When a Man Loves a Woman, of course, is his big hit. I have a few other albums by this group. Let's see, I'll pick out this one, which is the Best of the State Staple Singers, which is really good. Of course, this has, uh, you know, I'll Take You There and a few of their other big hits on that. It's a really good album. And I also really like this group, too, The Shirelles. Uh That song, Will You Love Me Tomorrow, without question, is one of my favorite songs from back in the... Uh, the good old 60s. I mean, the, the, to me, that's just a kind of just a really smooth song. Something about her voice is kind of like a uh, gives me a Stevie Nicks feel. She doesn't sound like her, but there's like that small crackle in there, just makes it a very it's like sexy and smooth song. So I love that. Um, Mr. Crazy Man himself, Little Richard. You can never get enough of him. And this is a really good album too. This is called He's Got It, and this has everything from a Tutti Fruity, Long Tall Sally, Slippin' and Slidin', uh, Girl Can't Help Me, S Send Me Some Love. I mean, a lot of really good tracks on this album. So I have a number of things by Little Richard. Here's another good one, which I have quite a bit of. Otis, Redding, this is the best of Otis. Really good 2 LP set. And uh, I'll show one more piece by him. Yeah, Dock of the Bay. Of course, that's a classic that Michael Bolton just butchered to no end. I mean, I like Michael Bolton, but just some songs you leave alone when they're already perfect, and that was one of them. Uh, the Best of Wilson Pickett, again, just 
very, very good, good R&B there. Love his voice. And we'll skip to Parliament, Mothership. I think I've shown that in the video before. And then you got the best of Booker T and the MGs. So that's a very good album. But you hear that playing in the background right now, actually. That CD. Benny King, Stand By Me. Another very good album. And let me see how much time I have here. Make sure I'm not running over. Okay, you've still got a few minutes. Um, next we'll go to Baby Huey. Baby Huey Story. It's a really good LP. This is pretty cool too because it's a... Uh, pull this out real quick. Very cool red vinyl. It's kind of nice. And Isaac Hayes, Don't Let Go, which is probably my, one of my favorite songs by Isaac Hayes. And I first discovered that song, if you guys used to watch the Jeffersons, um, the time when Tom and, and George were stripping at that strip club and they were playing that song. It was like the first time I fell in love with it really like it ever since, so that's Isaac Hayes. Of course you gotta have a number of pieces by the man, Al Green, still in love with you. A lot of Marvin Gaye here, but I will see I'll pull out this one. I want you, mainly because I like that cover. That very nice painting by Banks, which is also the painting from a good time, if you recall that. Queen of Soul, Aretha. Of course, I have a lot of her stuff, too. And the last few, um, BT Express, Do It, So You Satisfied. Nice funk groove. Fats Domino, Stompin'. And let this be a lesson about what you can potentially get at garage sales. Mom picked this up in a batch of albums for me. She paid five bucks for about 30 or 40 albums. This one right here, the gold mine standard. There's a little wear on the edge right over here, but that's a $120 album in near mint condition. Picked up at a garage sale. So, uh, like I said, the cover has some wear over there, but the vinyl was in near mint condition. So that was a really good find. So thanks, Mom. Uh, then we got the Delphonics. Another really good album. And the other guys you hear jamming in the background there. This is one of the albums I got by them, Sam and Dave. Epitome of good R&B there. And I'll slide this in a little LTD. And then, let's see. We'll go with one of my James Brown albums. It's one of his greatest hits albums. Um, the Isley Brothers. And then last but not least, we will finish off with the man himself, which is going to be Sam Cooke. First one here is Mr. Soul. Then you got Sam Hook Live, Harlem Club. Really good LP. And you got Sam Cooke. Best. And the last one here, gonna be Sam Cook Cook. Uh, the man and the music. And I saved this for last because I definitely want to give him the most credit. Uh, you guys watch my videos, you know I like a lot of different music and a lot of different things. And it's always hard to narrow down what's your favorite metal band, what's your favorite this, favorite that. But I can without question say I think the best recording of all time in the history of music is A Change Is Gonna Come. So that's what Sam is my number one of every album ever made. That song is just so passionate, so powerful between the music and when you really take away his voice and how soulful it is, you realize it's just a big orchestration. I mean, there's so many facets of that song. It's just absolutely incredible. But So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Look forward to more soon. And thanks as always for watching.